Hello again, masters, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back to view. So what I want to talk about today is kind of what's included in a home care startup package, no matter who you're using, franchise, consultants. If you come through us at Masters of Home Care, you do a home care course, anything along those lines, I just want to talk about today. So number one is going to be a business plan template. You want to make sure you have this for one, it provides your company direction. For two, they will most likely ask for it for your licensing requirement. And three, in the future, you want to make sure that you have access to funding. You know, when your agency grows to a million plus dollars, you may have trouble floating payroll until your invoices come due. Um, so you want to make sure that you have that access to funding. And number two is gonna be marketing materials. So you wanna make sure that you have marketing materials that are ready to go uh, to send out to your clients, get the word out about your uh, services. So you want business cards, you want brochures, you want uh, mailing envelopes, you want presentation folders. You wanna make sure that you have all of that lined up ahead of time. And number three is gonna be the operations manual. So this is what's gonna outline your policies and procedures. I've talked about this in other videos, but each state has their own specific set of policies and procedures. There's no one company you're gonna to go to that's gonna say, hey, yeah, here's, here's one for Iowa, here's the policies for California, here's the policies for Florida. It doesn't exist other than there's these agencies out there that are charging, you know, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars to basically uh, get you a home care license. You don't need that. I mean, you're able to fill out forms on your own with our course. It shows you exactly how to do all the tax ID numbers, everything that you're going to need for those forms. But remember, the policies and procedures are going to need to be purchased if you do them on your own, which I never recommend because, uh, you know, it'll take eight nine, 10 months sometimes, and you're going to pull your hair out and you're probably going to quit before you even start your agency. So I highly recommend work, do what you're doing now, save $2,000, $2,500 for the policies and procedures. That's your target goal. And then you can move forward from there. And number four is going to be forms and contracts. So you want to make sure, you know, you have your consumer agreement, your caregiver agreement, your employee handbook. There's tons of other documents that you need as well. You know, spreadsheets, word documents, things like that to basically run your agency, but especially, especially the legal forms. So consumer agreement, caregiver agreement, super, super important. When you grow, you're going to start staffing other communities, other facilities, and you want to make sure you have a, um, an agreement. There's a BAA agreement as well that you'll need. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure that you have all those forms and templates lined up before you, uh, not before you get started, but you, you have to know it's part of the process as well. And point number five is going to be training materials. So you want to make sure that you have materials to train your staff, to train your caregivers, uh, you know, any training that you need to do yourself. You want to make sure you have that set up ready to go because when you have a client come in, you're going to need to hire somebody right away and get them out there. You know, unless you're doing the work yourself, which is, you know, in a lot of cases that happens, just make sure that you do have some sort of training system set up. There is online companies now that do caregiver training so they can do them on their phones. They can do them on the desktop, iPad, whatever. Really good setup. So just remember, there's a lot of tools to help out with that kind of stuff as well. Okay, so in conclusion, yeah, those are those are some of the steps that you're going to go through no matter who you're using uh, as far as your business startup. And other than that, subscribe below if you like the content and I'll see you next time.